Welcome to Smart Conserva. Where I live, there are houses to the back with clearly marked boundary to where each home homeowner property ends. The back fence should be a shared one. However, I was not intending to share. So I got a chain link fence set up over my side as I felt a six inch wall would take up too much of my space if I did not build in the boundary. Also, the decision to get the chain link fence installed was after the man who cut my neighbor's grass came right over and helped himself to my line from a tree. So in order to control my backyard unwanted traffic, the chain link was installed. For years we have it just as it was installed until I decided to have my quiet time moved from the front to the back and I just didn't want to be disturbed or called to by neighbors. No, I'm not antisocial, but I need to relax undisturbed at times. So I thought, if you can't see me, then you can't talk to me. The task of finding a screen for the chain link fence was easy. All I had to do was check the internet for my options. And let me tell you, it was a lot. These are what I saw. The first thing I saw was, was called the fence privacy slants. Then I saw the fence tape weave. I also saw bamboo rolls or board placed along the fence or even plastic plants on a roll. Other persons plant vines to cover the fence. This takes a little while to grow. Another type of, of privacy was the fabric type screens. And lastly, I saw persons using the lattice, the plastic lattice. Some of those options provided up to 100% privacy. While I wanted privacy, I would have settled for up to 80%. Looking on my options, some of them I knew I didn't want, like the fabric type or the bamboo or board type. I didn't want the bamboo or board type as I don't want to encourage termites. Not to even mention the plastic plants. This I felt would gather too much dust. Or growing vines along the edges. This would take up my precious yard space and some areas cannot accommodate planting. The lattice I see here in Jamaica are plastic and I have seen them used before by others and they crystallize easily in the sun. So I was left with two types, the privacy slant and the tape weave. I like the slant you know as it was easy to install however it had a lock and because the area of the chain link i had was varying in length that would pose an issue the best one for me to use was a tape weave but i wanted it in two colors beige and brown yes i love chocolate brown i wonder if it's because i don't eat chocolate while well i love the color hmm. Getting the color I wanted wasn't hard. However, estimating the amount of rows I need was a bit of a hassle as the fence was 8 feet high in some places and because of the raised turtle pond, I read and because of the raised turtle pond, some areas were smaller. I read the reviews online to just make sure other customers did not have an issue and I would not be able to tolerate much issues at this time. Overall, I was happy for the reviews as I learned that I needed to purchase additional fasteners as the ones that came with the tape weave would not have been enough. The reviews also suggested getting some brass washers to place at the back of the fasteners used to hold the tape weave in place. 
I initially bought two rolls of tape with one line along with two packages of, of fasteners and two packages of brass washers. When I received them, the tape we've showed the square feet a roll could cover. Hmm. Based on the two rolls I purchased, it didn't look like it would, be, it would be enough. So, after calculating, I decided to purchase an additional roll. I purchased and waited for its arrival. The last ordered tape weave came. The little project could, have, could not have started the weekend as I wanted to do it under the, I didn't want to do it under the watchful eyes of the neighbors. So I took two days off from work to get it done. I hope it did not take two days, but with these things, you can't be sure how long it's, it's going to take you to complete. Well, we began to work early the morning, around 7.30 a.m., moving away what we could move, like the flower spot and some plants. But nevertheless, some of the plants got damaged and some got broken in the process. I had two rolls of beige tape, tape weave, and one roll of chocolate brown tape weave. So the design was for every two beige weave, then one chocolate brown. It was impossible to video as once we started, we never let up until 10 minutes to 2 it was all done 30 feet of 8 inch high chain link fence in some areas was weaved complete in only six hours and a couple of minutes man me tired i had an online meeting to attend so i hurriedly joined and left the yard in disarray when the meeting was over I placed back the flower pots and planted back some of the broken French thyme that I had in more areas. So when I was when all of that was completed, I still had some areas left where the plants were already damaged. So right there was left bare. Overall, it was a tedious project, but when completed gave you a nice feeling of privacy i could relax around there without being seen completed in one day i would give this diy project a six out of ten for difficulty wish i could have fixed a labor cost to it but i don't know if anyone here is doing that type of job Perhaps the sellers and installers of chain link fences does it. Well, that's another project complete and I have others. So the journey of conservation by doing it yourself continues. You have come to the end of another series. Join us next time for more ways to conserve.